My name is Ben Gramico, and I'm from Internachi. And right now I'm from Boulder, Colorado. And right now it's snowing right now. So I don't think it's snowing probably where you guys are. So um, if you need to contact me, I'm on the contact page with everybody else at Internachi. There's uh, 28 full-time people who work at Internachi, and they essentially all work for you. Um, so you can go to the contact page and contact anybody there. Um, from the founder down to anybody on staff and phone them or email them or text them, um, anything that you need, um, that is a huge resource that actually goes unused by InterNACHI members. So feel free to contact anybody there, okay? Um, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm in charge of education at InterNACHI. Before I, I did that, I was a home inspector for about a dozen years in southeastern PA, where there's uh, a few hundred friendly competitors within a 20, 30 mile radius. And we were pretty successful in doing that. And what I wanna teach today is about being successful um, by using, using all the resources that InterNACHI has to offer. I know you're doing a, a five-day class, hands-on class at the House of Horrors and getting licensed in Florida. And you're probably thinking about becoming a really great inspector, but you got to also become a really good business owner as well at the same time. And those resources are available to you. You're not alone. So you are a member of a, the world's largest organization. And uh, you can take full advantage of being a member of InterNACHI by um, looking up those resources. I'm going to go over a few of them today. And if you have a pencil and paper, I'm um, old school, uh, write down a few of these resources that I'm going to go over. And you can also email me for the slides. Uh, I'll email you the slides so that you can get the URL and the information that we go over because um, I'll probably go a little fast, but I want to open it up to questions as well at the end. So let me blab and blab a little bit and then we'll open it up for questions. How's that sound? All right, cool. Uh, you guys look good, but in the past, we've had a couple of people who just uh, needed to leave. The class. So we drew up these policies. I don't think we're going to have any problems here because Michael is uh, in charge of everybody. But you got to be professional and behave in a manner that's consistent with our goals. Uh, you got to treat staff and fellow students with respect. We don't tolerate sexual harassment, or racist or offensive remarks or disruptive behavior. We may ask you to leave. And if you don't, I can call the cops. So that's the, that's the uncomfortable part of being uh, together in a classroom, but I'm glad to see everybody's there. That's really cool. You are um, a member of the world's largest organization of home inspectors, but if you take a course, um, the InterNACHI school provides that course and you are essentially a college student. So the InterNACHI school is actually an accredited college, accredited by the US Department of Education. One of their national accrediting agencies accredits us just like any university or college. You can actually download a college student ID from your dashboard, member dashboard, and try to get some discounts, maybe on a movie ticket. Um, so you are actually enrolled in a college. Here's what I'd like to go over. If you wanna talk about anything else, feel free to ask me questions or raise your hand, or maybe Michael can help us communicate back and forth. Um, but maybe you're thinking where to start, what to do next, and how to be successful. So I like to go over some of these topics, um, like the difference between certification and license. Um, it's, it's important to get certified. State specific information. We got a bunch of resources so that you're not alone. We got mentors, we have an inspection community, we have inspector events, we have staff support, we have business and legal resources. You've got a membership dashboard. That's a portal through which you access everything. We've got training, certification, and CE. You're gonna need that because Florida is a regulated state, as you know. Software and inspection report writing and checklists. You gotta market yourself so people know how good you are as a home inspector. So we've got branding, marketing, and website resources. We can calculate profitable fees because half of you won't make it within a couple of years. That's the stats because I believe, we believe, that a lot of people go into a home inspection business thinking if they're a great inspector, they'll be successful in their business. And it's just not true. You gotta be good at both. And one of the big mistakes is 
you look around and see what Michael's charging and see what other people are charging and you charge the same. And that's not the way to do business. You have to calculate with math a profitable inspection fee so that when that phone rings, you know this is not only gonna pay the bills, it's gonna give me a little extra. Handling complaints, everybody gets complaints, no big deal. Uh, I, I was drawn into small claims three times, one within a few minutes in front of the judge because I had everything in order. How do you network with real estate agents? Maybe you don't want to network them. Maybe you do. How do you get free job leads? Don't pay for job leads. And we've got some live interactive webinars and uh, a 15 step checklist. There's a difference between certification and licensing. Obviously, Internachi is helping you out with licensing, getting the a number of hours, you need 120 hours of training courses in order to take the state exam and all that good stuff. But you have to become Internet Chief certified as well. Um, once you become a certified member, once you become a member, you have access to all those resources, but you have to be certified in order to really dive deep to get access to the marketing team. There's a marketing team in Internet Chief. They don't work for Internet Chief. They work for inspectors. Um, they do all of the design work of all of your marketing. So you can go online and do business cards. We've done it to compare our products and services. You can go and design a business card or a logo. You can pull a logo off the internet or something like that, not advised. But what you have is seven highly creative, professional designers, illustrators, and consultants who all work for you. And they're sitting at their desk, ready to work for you. So they'll do all the design work. They're gonna ask you a lot of questions about your business, uh, what's your favorite color? They'll try to design a logo built upon your, your name, your business name, the services you provide. And they'll do a business card design for you and that'll include a logo. They'll, they can also do brochures and flyers and things like that for your website. They can even do a wrap around your vehicle. But all that work, the design work is free. And you only get that service by becoming a certified home inspector. And I can show you that. So I'm gonna log in here. And actually it's a, my wife is a certified professional inspector. So if she logs in into our dashboard right there, here's the portal through which you access everything, right? And right here, there's a difference between certification and licensing, obviously. Right here, licensing is the link to get to the uh, stuff that's state specific, like CE requirements and the courses that are approved for Florida. Over here is the certification stuff. You want to get certified by Internet G. There's six easy steps, six easy steps to get certified. And you want to do that in order to get those other resources, like the marketing team, to work for you for free. Okay. So go into your dashboard and log in. Because licensing actually doesn't mean a whole lot. Actually, once you attain a license, what that means is that you have um, attained what everyone else has, the absolute legal minimum to conduct a home inspection. Who's going to buy the bottom of the barrel? No one, right? A license just means that I'm uh, the same as everybody else who has a license. Once you attain a license, it's actually now a starting point and it's all about marketing. Who can market themselves? It's a race to marketing. Who can distinguish themselves? Remember, everyone has a license. Everybody who's totally green, incompetent, or highly experienced certified masters. You have a license, so does Michael Meeker, and he's a certified master inspector. So that license really doesn't mean anything. What's, what's the difference between you and your friendly competition, your marketing. And that's why the marketing team is so valuable. That's why you get certified in order to access the marketing team and all the other business and marketing resources we have, okay? To get state-specific information, this is really good. You go to nachi.org slash Florida, nachi.org slash Florida, and you get to the Florida page. And on here, there's the links to the licensing information and the DPPR. Here's this Florida state exam. There's a link to get to the Florida state exam to take it, um, take InterNACHI's Florida state exam. It's based upon the training we provide. Um, 
and then get certified here to become a, a CPI. By the way, don't put InterNACHI's logo on any marketing that you have. And InterNACHI's doing just fine. What you wanna do is use marketing like the CPI logo because it says what people are looking for. People aren't looking for InterNACHI. They're looking for a certified professional inspector. They're online right now looking for you and your zip code, and they're looking for an inspector who's professional and certified. So you wanna use certified professional inspector logo. No one on the planet can say I'm a CPI unless you go through InterNACHI. And you wanna use your professionally designed logo that the marketing team is gonna create for you. And the easiest, cheapest way to get a free logo designed by the marketing team is you order a box of business cards. I think they're about, it's $107, I think. And it'll come to you within a few days. Now you have a logo that you can use professionally designed by InterNACHI. You can use it anywhere, right? On your website or brochure, make your own brochures. We have CE, state approved CE to renew your license. Got the hands-on training. We have insurance. Florida requires insurance. We've got the best insurance company. Got legal documents, uh, like Florida has their own home inspection standards of practice. And you wanna refer to that uh, when you do your home inspection. We have mold licensing and also mold CE in Florida. So if you wanna do a mold inspection, um, it's a great way to, um, diversifying your services is a key to success. You don't wanna be stuck just doing home inspections. You wanna offer packages or bundles or ancillary services so that when one market kind of wavers, you've got all these other um, vertical revenue streams. Wind mitigation is also essential in Florida. And so is Four Point. We have all these courses and training courses and certifications so that you can be um, approved by Florida to do Four Point and wind mitts. WDO, like a home inspector can do WDO inspections essentially. Uh, we have a comment by the Florida Department of Agriculture that a, a home inspector upon looking at damage can comment upon that during a home inspection, but you can't identify the bug. Just don't identify it. Don't try to identify it that it's a subterranean termite or a different kind of uh, beetle or something like that. You can do commercial property inspector inspections as well. You can go from mom and pop pizza shops or dentist office or something very large. And we have those training resources. I highly recommend taking a look at CCPIA to become a certified commercial property inspector. And they're a sister organization of InterNACHI. And you've got some very good training. You can become an energy inspector if you're interested in that. You can add value to your inspection reports, physical weight, a home maintenance book. It's $2.70 each. This is what you do as a, a marketing tool to uh, tell people that you add value to your services. Um, don't buy it yourself. You raise your fee five bucks. Allow other people, allow your clients to buy their own home maintenance book and a cup of coffee for you. Um, don't add overhead to your business costs. Um, and then you can network with real estate agents in Florida by providing them free CE through InterNACHI. So the InterNACHI School Home Inspector College also educates licensed real estate agents. You can approach a real estate agent professional in the same way that uh, you approach, uh, approach any professional. That, um, a licensed professional needs to take CE. So you have to take CE as a licensed professional and you're addressing another licensed professional and you can give them free CE. It's very easy. They can blow through our courses and get the credit. We've got a message board just for Florida inspectors on our message board. And we also are uh, recognized by code. So we've got some, uh, we got the code board to approve our courses as well. And also the electrical contractors licensing board. Some of you are coming from the trades. Maybe you're familiar with these two boards. And it just goes on and on and on. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but you need to. This is one of your homeworks, homework assignments, natchi.org slash Florida. Figure out what you can use. Take full advantage of all the resources InterNACHI provides to you. Don't just think you're gonna become highly successful six digit salary by being a home inspector only. It's not gonna work. We just have the data that shows it's not gonna work. You have to work on your business, which includes marketing and other business ideas, such as diversifying your services and getting your legal documents in order. 
So InterNACHI helps you with those things. Let me show you a few other things InterNACHI helps you with. We have a home inspection business course. This is a college accredited course, and it's a home inspection business course. It's a business course just for home inspectors. And chapter 11 is the best part. So let me go there. How do you get to the business course? You go to the education page, natcha.org slash education, and you type in business, and you search for the business course, and you log in. And what I like is uh, chapter 11, calculating a profitable fee. And we go through, let's see, which one, here it is. We go through uh, an example of Inspector John, and he's trying to figure out how much to charge for an inspection based upon math, not based upon what his friendly competitor is doing or what he feels like he should say when the phone rings. It's based upon math. And so we go through, it's very easy math. It's adding, subtracting, and dividing. And basically, in, in general, in business, what you want to think about is um, a fraction, a number on the top divided by another number. And then the number on the top is gross revenue divided by time. And you want to increase gross revenue as much as you can. And that comes from taking advantage of resources and marketing and divided by your time. That means being efficient with your time, like using mobile software, and we have discounts for that. So internet she has resources to help you with both, to help you increase gross revenue and also be efficient with your time so that you're not wasting time. For example, we teach you in this home inspection business course how to delegate. One of the things you should do, consider, is delegate to the home, uh, internet she marketing team. Let them handle your marketing, right? We also have a, a resource for a website if you get your business online. Let them do all this work, right? It costs a little bit, but it would, in money, but it would cost a lot more in your time. So we give you those resources and the bigger the revenue on the top of the fraction divided by the time is like, well, if you charge $300 for a home inspection and it takes you three hours, the math is easy. That's where you wanna be about a hundred bucks an hour. And so the home inspection business course is geared for the person who is new and veteran experienced inspector to make sure that you are successful. It's worth your time to go through. You don't have to go through it in detail. You can blow through the course. It's learning your pace. Find the chapter that's of interest to you. We also have mentoring. You can go to the mentoring page and search for a mentor. And you don't have to search for a mentor uh, in, in Florida, you can just search for a mentor anywhere, but uh, let's go to my Miami. Oh, no, here's what I want to show you. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, here. So we have 18 mentors in Florida and here they are. Right. And some of them do e-based mentoring, phone-based mentoring. There's three of them do ride-alongs. So there's Mike McFadden, Lawrence, John, Vito, and you go all the way down. Um, and these are your mentors in Florida. But you don't have to get, you can go Georgia if you wanted to. Um, you can go anywhere. But if you wanted mentors who know about four point inspections, well, we have 15 of them. Wind mitigation inspections. Like if you need somebody to text you, you send a picture and you don't know what the heck you're looking at. A strap, you don't know if it's in compliance or not. That person can email you right back. And these people agree to volunteer their time for you to be successful. Um, we got the inspection community. So we have an online forum. And if you scroll down to the online forum, there's one just for Florida home inspectors. So here's a post here uh, a few hours ago talking about wind mitigations and a roofing contract. There's four point inspection for condos. How do you do four points in condos? Wind mitigation for flat, or hip roofs, how do you identify the right type of roof? Wind mitigation software, four-point software, talking about that. So there's state-specific information. Uh, other inspectors are online talking about things that you ought to know about. And it's our, our, on our forum, online discussion forum. Find local inspectors. You can find a local in competitor. Um, let's get rid of some of these tabs here. And um, if I search for, uh, let's see. Oh, I can go down here 
and do a Florida search, Florida home inspectors. And then here's Robert Austin. So if I wanted to know about my friendly competitors, I can do a zip code search, or if I just wanted to go down and if I'm in St. Peter's right now, I can see that I'm going to beat the heck out of Robert in the market. Why? Because there's no website here. I mean, nowadays people don't uh, go to restaurants until they see the menu online. They don't buy a pizza until they see it online. They don't go to a movie theater and buy tickets until they see the video preview of the movie online. So Robert here, I have a competitive advantage because I'm gonna develop a website for being a home inspector in St. Peter's and someone searching for a home inspector in St. Petersburg, they're not gonna pick Robert. There's no way. How about, uh, let's just scroll down. How about Kimberly? ProTech, nope, I'm gonna beat Kimberly too. She doesn't have a website because no one calls anymore, right? Who picks up the phone? Uh, here we go. Raul, inspector, inspectorfl.com, pretty good domain. Nice website. So I kind of like this. Good logo. This person does mold inspections. You can book an inspection online. Got some nice tabs, very nice visuals. There's Raul there. He looks like an, a good inspector. You know, people buy gray hair nowadays. So Raul's got some gray hair. That's perfect. So now I'm going to be a little bit nervous. I'm going to look at Raul, his website, and figure out what does he charge and what does he offer in value that I'm not. What can I do different than Raul, right? I have to be different and special. Otherwise, Raul and I are the same. We both have our license, which means nothing, because that just means you're, you're legally meeting the minimum to conduct business in Florida. No one's gonna buy that. What are they gonna buy? Maybe it's the look. Maybe Raul has a better look than I do. Maybe Raul has uh, honor guarantees. Maybe Raul does these checks or warranties things. Maybe I don't do mold inspections and Raul does. So now I have to figure out what is Raul doing that I need to do in order to be different from him because we don't wanna stand next to each other and hold our licenses. Because then if everything is the same, between me and other inspectors, you and all the inspectors in the room there, if you're all the same, then the only th thing that is different between you two is gonna be price. And people are gonna call each one of you up right now and ask, how much do you charge? If everything else is the same, the only thing that's different is gonna be price and people are going to beat you down on price. And competing on price, when you compete on price, everyone loses because we have just driven ourselves down into the ground, right? So what you wanna do is compete on value. You wanna spy on your friendly competitors. That's, that's fun. Go to a chapter meeting, you know, and see rub elbows with your competitors and see what they're doing. See who's on, on top of things. See who's bundling packages together. You know, people love to bundle, you know, remember Happy Meal? I don't know if they still do it. You know, you don't just want to be a home inspector and try to survive. You want to be a multi-inspector. Okay. And also think about business and marketing. You know, when I was a home inspector, my life changed when I realized I'm not just a home inspector, but I'm a business owner. I have to think like a business owner. Then everything started to change and grow. We've got chapters. I think we have three or four chapters in Florida. There we've got the young professional inspectors. I can't tell who's young. Uh, the, the webcam isn't very good, but we've got young professional inspectors and we've got uh, North Florida, Suncoast and Tampa Bay chapter. If you are not there, or if you don't like any of these chapters, you can start your own. And we have those resources for you as well. If you wanted to be your own chapter president and run chapter meetings. Uh, we have advice and answers. So we have a FAQ. If you're looking for a quick answer, like how do I download my certificate or um, when, something about wind mitigation, you type in wind mitigation, you get a, an answer real quick. If you can't find a human being at InternetG. Inspector events. Uh, if you're interested in going to California uh, in 2022 um, for uh, the world's largest home inspector convention, we're, we're we're going to have a, an amazing event there if you want to get some sun in October 2022. Um, 
But if you log in to your dashboard again, and then you scroll down, you get to see upcoming InterNACHI events. So we've got training at the House of Horrors in Pennsylvania. We've got training at the House of Horrors right there where you are. We've got also sewer scope inspections. So on November 8th, next week, we have a sewer scope inspection. You can make about 300 bucks on a sewer scope and spend about less than a half an hour. And um, Jim Crumb will show you how to make um, profit, not just more money, not just diversify your services, but to actually make a lot of money. Um, so, and we can go over all the legal aspects of that too. Do you have to be a plumber um, to do a sewer scope? So there's another class coming up. Let's see, what is it? Um, I'm looking for it. I'll show it to you later. Training day, home inspection class. Hmm. Maybe it's in our webinars. I'll show you at, at another website. So don't miss out on inspector events and chapter meetings. Get the latest news from the Home Inspector Newsletter. So go to homeinspectornewsletter.com. That's InterNACHI's newsletter. And read the latest newsletter. Don't read it word for word. Don't spend more than 15 minutes on it. You scroll through it and look for something that you need as a business owner. One of them might be a business and marketing webinar that I'm doing November 3rd, this Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, it's, it'll be morning for you still. And it's a free live webinar and we're gonna talk about business and marketing. If you wanna take a, a commercial class, we've got commercial classes as well. We've got some advertisers. If you wanted to do some software, free software, uh, there's training days. If you wanna be infrared certified, there's our convention here. Here's the link to get a free inspector logo that I mentioned earlier. It's all in the newsletter. The newsletter is the last two weeks, two weeks of news, the past two weeks of news. So it's the latest news. So to subscribe, you just click subscribe up here. And we ask, I think, for your first name, last name, and email. That's it. So don't miss out on the news. And don't necessarily read every word of the newsletter. But don't miss out. You should call up somebody or email them. Just give it a try. Anybody on our contact page and ask them this question, what should I do next? It'd be really good. I'd love to know what they say. Feel free to use the resources that InterNACHI provides you. And there's a ton of people on staff and they all work for you. We've got business and legal resources. We're kind of like a legal Zoom for home inspectors. I'll show you just a couple of links here. So if you're thinking about diversifying your services, right, you've got to get your legal documents in order. So um, let's see, we've got the, oh, here's asbestos inspection agreement. If you find asbestos at the house or you're doing some kind of uh, environmental inspection, um, careful about identifying the actual fibers, but you can say, um, that you found something that's like asbestos. Um, mold inspection agreement. So if you wanted to do a mold inspection, um, make sure you get an agreement between you and your clients. Um, there's a seawall inspection agreement, um, meth house hazard uh, in agreement. And you can scroll down here. Also drone addendums. If you're gonna fly a drone, um, you need an addendum with between you and your client. Um, if you get sued, there's a hold harmless clause. So there's a lot of things that you can you can use from InterNACHI uh, in our legal library, which is um, available to any InterNACHI member. There's another one where I like to click and log in. And there's, uh, if I go into Alicia's dashboard, you go on the left side, it says business development. You may wanna click that, click that tonight. Log into your computer and then go to BizVelop. I don't know if you've used it yet, but it's a free online business development tool. It's a series of questions and the questions change based upon your answer. And it's free and it takes you about a half an hour and it really gives you a nice idea of where you are and what you wanna do next and what you should do next and resources to handle those things. So if you haven't designed a logo, right? You ask, you're asked the question, do you have a logo yet? No, and then there's a couple of resources that you should consider. So BizVelop is like your own personal business mentor and you take your time going through it. You can also get the free marketing design that I mentioned 
logos and seals. If you click here, we've got all the logos and you, um, as a member, you have access to one of them, the internet you logo. As a certified inspector, you have access to all of them. Now you can download the CPI logo. You can use the buyback guarantee logo, the move-in certified logo, um, first time home buyer friendly logo, right? You can tell your real estate agents that you're friendly with first time home buyers, right? You don't want to scare them away. We have a membership dashboard, which I've sh shown you. Here's a, oops, here's what the dashboard looks like. So I'd, I'd say go through this dashboard and click every link. Make sure you're familiar with all the links. Obviously we do training, certification and CE, right? We have software and inspection report writing and checklists. So we have, if you need a software, in fact, I would, uh, I'd go to this link and use the software to inspect the house of horrors. If you inspect it four times, um, you get credit for it towards your certification through InterNACHI. They're called mock reports. We require you to write four reports. So you can inspect the house of horrors four times using the, the checklist here. And it's a really cool checklist. And it's a free online checklist. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't use it for clients, but it's um, pretty cool just to practice using a software and it's free and it's very basic. Like for example, we don't upload any photos using this checklist, but it takes you through um, the process of performing a home inspection according to the standards of practice. And you don't miss anything, right? So you can use it on any device. iPhone's a little tricky because you have to turn it sideways, but your laptop, uh, iPad, tablet, yeah. Branding, marketing, and website. Well, you go into your dashboard and you click business development, right, on the left side. That's a good starting point. So if we do that. Business development. You get the marketing design. You get the logos and seals and also promotional videos. These videos help you sell your inspection services. So you can put those videos online on your social media channels, on your website. You can even put it on a device and play those videos, the playlist of those videos for clients because they all say um, why you should be hired for other services. So home inspectors, I was never a very good salesman during the home inspection. I was too busy doing the inspection, but man, if I had the videos that said, while I'm here, maybe you should consider doing a bold inspection. And it's a 30 second, very good professionally developed uh, promo video that might just convince somebody to hire you for an ancillary service. Now you're increasing gross revenue that number on the top, dividing it by the same amount of time, maybe adding a few more minutes in order to do that ancillary service. Get online with a custom website. Like I said before, when I was searching for inspectors in uh, St. Petersburg, um, we got a couple inspectors listed, but they don't have websites and there's no way they're going to be hired. So you got to get online. Now there are software companies out there that also do websites, but you don't necessarily have to hire them. You can integrate with your inspection software with any uh, website service. And I highly recommend, I'm telling everybody, FastSite for you. FastSite for you builds inspector websites for internet members only. And it's only 279. That's a really low cost. I, I, don't, I don't pay attention to detail about every service, but I pay attention to the cost. So at Internachi, we try to leverage our size in order to get exclusive discounts or um, low fees or free stuff for our members because you want to save money. We provide resources for you to make a lot of money. And we also, the other thing we do is we provide discounts just for Internachi members. So you got to get online and fast site for you is a really good service. Job leads. Once you get online, you get that custom domain and you go and you get free inspection job leads. Internet actually provides job leads. Don't, don't necessarily have to go to Home Advisor or Angie's List or any of those services where you're competing and you have to put in five, 10, 20 bucks in order to get the same lead that everyone else has. 
Internachi has a lead generation system and it's free, but you have to update your profile with your web address. So right there, you enter your company website right there. And then that shows up on that search engine. So if you go to inspector seek, oh, if you go to, if I can type my fat fingers, inspector seek.com and you type in, uh, I don't know. Um, can I type in a, yeah, Boulder. So I'm gonna search for home inspectors in my area, Boulder. Uh, I can see James doesn't have a, a website, but Pablo does. Let's see, does Pablo do? Yeah. So Pablo entered his URL into his internet profile. Now when people search for Pablo, um, they have that link. Um, the other inspectors that he's competing with don't have websites. So that's a huge competitive advantage. Calculating profitable fees, that's chapter 11 in the Home Inspection Business course. Make sure you do that. Or we also have, not just a course, but if you log into your dashboard and you go to apps on the left side, there's a, a fee calculator. So you can figure out what you should charge using math. You don't have to go through the Home Inspection Business course. You can go right here as well. And you can start with a base price. You can add, uh, you can charge your clients for mileage and the age of the house because older homes have more problems and it takes a little bit more time to inspect an older home. And it takes fuel costs in order to inspect a home that's further away from your office and the size also. So, and you, you can make these zero if you wanted to. And then you ask these questions and you figure out your fee. What, you, what should you be charging? And it's based upon these, these uh, factors. You have to think like, well, if I drive two hours away, that's probably not gonna be worth it. Or maybe it is if I'm charging per mile. And then you take that information and you figure out your business plan and how do you market that? How do you market a base price? I mean, there's this discussion about, should I put my fees on my website? Well, uh, I'm in favor of putting your fees on your website because you don't want people calling you or emailing you or bothering you, asking you for the distinguishing characteristic that is price shopping. You don't want people to price shop. You don't want people to call up and ask that question, what do you charge? And then they're going to go away, right? So what you wanna do is uh, I recommend is put your fee up, even if it varies, put up your calculation and let people see how much you charge. Now it's up to you to figure out the value. And in business, you wanna overwhelm your potential clients with value. If you can overwhelm your potential clients with perceived value, it's perceived value, it's not actual value, overwhelm your clients with perceived value, then you can demand higher prices. And that's what you get when uh, you go to the store and you're looking at a hundred watches and um, some of them are plastic, Timex or something, and some of them are Rolexes, right, gold. Those. Cheap ones are 10 bucks. The expensive ones are a thousand bucks. What's the difference? They're doing the same thing. They're telling it's time. What's the time? They, same, same thing. You look at them, they're all telling it's all, it's all 1141 in my area. So what are they doing different? Well, home inspectors, we do the same thing. We all have a standards of practice. We're all writing reports, all finding problems, calling them bigs, calling them small problems. We're all doing the same thing. So what's the distinguishing characteristic? Man, if it's price, you're gonna be in trouble. It better be value. So the perceived value of the thousand dollar watch to the person who buys it is worth it. It's a good decision in their head to buy a thousand dollar watch that tells the same time as the cheap. It's because there's a difference. There's an obvious difference between the plastic watch and the gold watch. You want to be the gold watch. If people can't figure out which watch 
to buy in your market area, that means everyone's looking the same and they're going to price shop. So what you want to do tonight, starting like now, you want to figure out how to be the gold watch. How do you become different from all the rest? And then you can charge a profitable fee that you calculated. Now you're making money. Remember, the license isn't that distinguishing characteristic. It's just a step. You just have begun. Now it's a race towards marketing. So I think you would enjoy learning about marketing and I'm gonna tell you how to get there. I'm doing a class at natchee.org slash webinars on business and marketing for internet team members. And it's gonna be Wednesday. It's gonna be recorded. If you can't make it, got a home inspection job, you're at the House of Horrors doing your training, great. Register tonight and I'll send you the link to the video recording. And it'll be really good. And you can have the slides too. And you can have my email. You can ask me questions if you wanted to afterwards. Just, just go over here and click the button. Members, you can just register for free. Click here. Okay, non-members, you have to make an account, but I think everyone in class should be a member. If you're not, become a member. I'll get you a membership. Everyone gets complaints, no big deal. You'll get an email or a phone call, or whatever. Find your local business attorney. It's gonna be $250 for the initial uh, uh, meeting. It's gonna save you hundreds of hours of sweating at night about the person who's insane complaining that you didn't find the cat urine in the corner underneath the carpet, right? That was one of my complaints. Your local business attorney will be all prepped. They'll review all of your marketing strategies. They'll review all of your contracts and they'll have a letter template ready to go and just crush anyone who's insane enough to call you and complain about something stupid. So find a local business attorney and sleep well at night. And if you click natchi.org slash insurance, you get that insurance to really back you up. That's not what you put in front. You put your local business attorney and your, your quick responses up in front and squash um, these complaints when they come in. And also um, you can go here on that page and scroll down. You can get an ENO flyer. You can download it and you can read Sleep Well, A Home Inspector's Guide to Managing Risk. It's a great bathroom read. It really is. It's like 10 minutes in the bathroom and you're, you're ready to go. Uh, you're good to go on managing risk at being a home inspector. It is not risky being a home inspector, but just in case, cover yourself with the you know, insurance, it's well worth it. And there's a little brochure there as well. Uh, let's see, a couple more things. We've got real estate agents. If you want to network with the real estate agents, we're going to be talking about that during the webinar, but you can also do presentations, natchit.org slash presentations. We actually have presentations, slideshow presentations, short and sweet things about like, what is an AFCI and how important it is it, right? You don't want to talk blah, blah, blah about yourself. You don't want to say anything that other inspectors say. You don't want to say, oh, I, uh, I, um, I show up on time. I'm very thorough. I write inspection reports using software. I take digital pictures. Everyone's saying that, right? You want to figure out how to be the gold watch where it's very special. You're different from all the rest, right? What's, uh, it's, the, the season is pumpkin season. So there's a local farm where I live and they have a pumpkin growing contests and the biggest pumpkin, the biggest one wins all the time. Every single time. The biggest, most beautiful, most colorful pumpkin wins all the time. The other ones, no one even looks at. No one cares. No one takes a picture of. But everyone's right next to that big pumpkin. <laughs> you want to be figuring out how to be that big pumpkin in the field. You want to be standing out from all the rest in the field. You want to be in a place where there's hardly anybody around you because you're so different and you are offering overwhelming amount of value that no one even asks. No one even, the real estate agent doesn't even care what you charge. Uh, they, they charge 350 or something, whatever, I don't know. And you become their favorite reference. So we're gonna talk about that during the marketing as well. We have a masterclass for home inspectors. 
it's, it's for veteran inspectors and, and green inspectors uh, and everyone in between. Um, it's a really good video course. Uh, just go through it and uh, pick out what you want to learn. So we have a masterclass, natcha.org slash masterclass. We have natcha.org slash seven days where you can hire me to work for you for seven days for free. So go to natchi.org slash seven days. I'm not, I'm not kidding. You can hire me to work for you for seven days for free. Natchi.org slash seven days. You can also listen and learn while you're driving. We have a home inspector podcast. It's on Spotify and Amazon music and all over the place. Natchi.org slash podcast. We have home inspection training webinars. That's at natchi.org slash webinar. I'd go there now and register for that business and marketing uh, webinar coming up. And if you, if you don't know what to do next, and this seems all overwhelming and I'm talking too fast. Um, we have a step-by-step -step checklist. It's 15 steps to success. You can go step-by-step. -step. The first step you've already done. You've already joined InterNACHI. Second step, you're working towards certification and licensing. And then you go to the third step and it's 15 steps. So you can go there. I check it out tonight, bookmark it, come back to it later after class. And that's at nachi.org slash everything. And I want to give you some homework. So log into your account, log in to natchi.org, top right corner, log in, and just click around. Be familiar with that. Register for a webinar, um, natchi.org slash webinars, or you can go through your dashboard and find it. And then what you want to do is look up commodity. Go to dictionary.com and look up the word commodity. Or if you want to do a Google search, look up commodity and marketing for small businesses. You do not want to be a commodity. A commodity is something that is interchangeable with anything else. If I was standing in front of you in the class right now and I was a potential customer, potential client, how would I choose you from everyone else? Why should I hire you? Start thinking about that. Get trained, be a great inspector, but start answering the question, why should I hire you? instead of everyone else. You don't wanna be the same. We're all doing the same thing, like those watches. We're all telling the same time, but someone's making a lot of money and someone isn't. So you wanna be that gold watch and you wanna take advantage of all the resources that internet actually provides. And um, I think that's what I wanted to present. Do we have any questions? Questions for Ben? No, I think they all got it, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay safe and healthy. And uh, if you ever need anything, I'm available. I love email. Don't call me, email me <laughs> and I'll help. And Michael, I really appreciate it. Thanks, my friend, for doing all this and uh, taking the lead down in Florida for us. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do anything. No problem. I'm glad to do it, Ben. All right. See you, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Ben.